a very special trek rail belonging to Natalie Schneider, junior uh, cross country world champion in 2004 in Leger, uh, rode in the Beijing Olympics cross country and also won Champery World Cup in 2008. Ten. Ten, sorry. Um, also, let's add this as well, e-mountain bike world champion in 2019 and 2023. That's right. I just read it on the frame. <laughs> uh, Natalie, what an amazing looking bike. Um, track rail, 150, 160 mil travel. Lots of special features on this. Now you told me it weighs in at 20 and a bit kilos. Yes, yeah, so as the excess batteries are missing right now, I think we just hit the 20 kilos. I reckon a fraction under at the moment. I mean, that includes pedals, remember. Uh, should we go through some of the special parts about this bike? I think starting off, it's um, it's got the Bosch CX Race Limited Edition motor on it. However, battery that looks like something's been on there. There's no key cover in there. What's yeah. Yeah, so you have to remember this is a race bike and I race e cross country with it. So we made it light and fast. We took the um, lock off, so you screw the battery with an Allen key. And I'm riding a, sh uh, a lighter, smaller battery, a 625, okay. uh, compared to the 750 as the bike normally comes with. Um, the battery cover is out of the 3D printer. Normally it's aluminium, uh, it's about 200 grams lighter like this. I have a light cross country shock, um, pretty light. Bash guard. Well, it's, you know, it's a race bike. It's yeah. maybe not made for big days in the Alps, but it's really light. So cross country wheels, light tires. Yeah, so what, good, good on those on those tires, you've got the Schwalbe, uh, first rub, actually those are prototype tires, aren't they, on the back, right? Well, it's also a prototype in the front. Okay, right. So it's quite a low profile tire. What are these, 2.2s, 2.3s? It's a 2.4. Right, because it looks quite narrow, right? Uh, that's exactly the tire I won World Championship with in Scotland. Um, yep. And it's not a mud tire, but the grip in the wet is amazing. Look forward to trying some uh, carbon wheels. Uh, now, looking at look at the front of house here. This seems to be that's quite a familiar handlebar. That is, but that's off a fuel X, right? Hundred <laughs> percent. That's nice. It then fits perfectly on the bike. It's well, it's an amazing handlebar, and most important for this bike, it also looks good. Sorry, can I stop there? Can you have an amazing handlebar? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> It's an amazing handlebar. I actually like the one-piece handlebars. You see them are like, you know, on the Fuel X. You've got on maybe some Canyon bikes as well. Obviously, you wouldn't want to talk about Canyon, will you? But uh, I think super special on this bike is also the brake. Well, we've moved on now, wait. We've moved on from handlebars. Yeah, because I think the brake is even more amazing I than mean, the handlebar. I, I've, I've ridden, I've ridden the ABS. It is, it is pretty special. It's a Magura brake with ABS and. Um, I'm pretty proud that I think I'm the first person on the planet that won a bike race with ABS. Wow, what race was that? World Championships. Are you are you the ABS of the World Championships? 100%. Oh crikey. I mean, that's actually put a bit, probably put a bit of weight on the bike as well, isn't it really? It does, yeah. So it, you could argue that this bike would be about 19 and a half kilos if you had like traditional brakes on that. It, the ABS is, I think, 220 grams. Right. And, uh, you know, you could be, shall I go for it or not? But it's 100% worth it. Yeah, especially some of those looser, I think, I think we rode it in Verbia, the ABS. And like, I think when you've got like unseen trails where there's loose rocks and things like that, when maybe your brake grabs onto a rock and it, it, the, the, the bike will just roll with it. And the great thing with ABS, it actually kind of, it, it, it allows the, 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 the front wheel to keep moving. I think that's really important in that loose ground. Yes, and I think when people hear ABS, they think about cars and how it works there and how you feel it there. But the ABS on the bike, it, it feels different. It, it works so smoothly that, that you don't even realize that it, you know, yeah, it takes, it kicks in or not. I guess it takes the kind of the decision making out of, uh, out of your hands, really, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, and it makes the riding just smoother and relaxer. So with the same speed, you have more time to hit the perfect line. 
And for me, uh, in the race situations, also with the same speed going downhill, it's it's safer, more relaxed, so my heart rate can come down and I can go harder, attack the next hill harder. Crikey. Um, gearing, uh, standard gearing, you've got SRAM, SRAM axis on there, electronic shifting. Um, no special gear ratios? That looks like a standard cassette, yeah, right? Yeah, not, nothing special, I just go with the 50 cassette. Uh, crank length? What cranks are those actually? It's um, it's a FSA, 165 length, yeah. and um, the crank has a pretty narrow Q factor for an e-bike. Yeah. And that's it's just something I really like. So you got Rockshox Lyric Fork, a front Lyric Ultimate, which is a 160 mil travel fork. Yes, it's a hand. Yeah, 160. 160. You got the are these easy grips? These lightweight grips. I remember Nico Vulius used to have those on his bike. Yeah. Magura MT7's uh, seat. It's a Bontrager. Bontrager seat. Uh, I think that's a bit it, Natalie, isn't it? Pedals, always clipped in? Always. Yeah. I'm, um, cro I'm cross country is my background. That's what we do. Boom. Natalie, thanks for joining us to show us around your bike. You. I think, uh, I'm sure you guys will agree. If you've got a full power bike, which weighs 20 kilos, why Why would you need any other bike? But you do ride other bikes as well, don't you? You ride the Fuel EX? I ride, or I love all the bikes, from road bikes to e-bikes, enduro, cross-country, gravel. It's just like a few different horses in my stable, and I love all of them. Boom, it's a nice pony. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Thank you.